Altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight, the first flight of a powered aircraft to another planet. And Ingenuity uh, is less than 1.8 kilograms, right? Four pounds. And in that four pounds, Ingenuity has to be able to fly in that very thin atmosphere and be able to survive and operate autonomously at Mars. Uh, we have three goals that are in line with NASA's agency level objectives. The first is to demonstrate here on Earth that it is possible to fly a controlled power flight in the thin atmosphere of Mars. We've done that. The second objective is to perform that actual flight at Mars. Well, we're about to get data back very soon here on that first flight. And the third is to return data to inform engineers uh, working on designing future generations of Mars helicopter. Well, the biggest question that we had to answer when embarking on this was, can we lift? Can we generate enough lift and fly in a Martian atmosphere? And I think this first flight will indicate that for sure. It also opens the doorway for human exploration and the helicopter can go into areas where the rover can't. So there are a lot of um, caves and, and the rover has to overcome a lot of obstacles on the ground that the helicopter can ideally move around. And that's why it's such a great option for uh, putting an aerial vehicle on another planet. <laughs> Flying on Mars is very difficult. You guys have heard it before. It's less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere. And that means that we have to have something really lightweight for us to overcome that mass to generate enough lift. And, you know, kudos and thank you very much to our friends over at Air Environment who designed and built this custom rotor system that is super lightweight. Each blade is less than two ounces made of composite material for that very reason. And similarly, whenever we send data, it's the same process where there's going to be a delay of when it, when we, when we run the data and then when it hits Earth. So it's about um, four hours from when something is executed to when we receive it. For larger files, though, sometimes that can take longer, so it all depends. But today we'll be receiving uh, images, still images, of the helicopter. Yeah.